uh, consider an ideal monoatomic gas that uh, in two dimensions uh, x and y in the plane occupying an area a instead of a v uh, by following the same logic as above he means um, the derivation in section uh, 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 in section 2 5 regarding the multiplicity of a monoatomic ideal gas uh, find a formula for the multiplicity of this gas okay so we're gonna be following the same kind of steps except we're gonna be implementing some changes as we go along the way um, um, okay so um, we're gonna start with a single gas atom and uh, with some kinetic energy U in a container with volume V okay and we know uh, that uh, the multiplicity uh, of uh, that uh, one single molecule one single atom of gas uh, is proportional to the uh, uh, is proportional I should write proportional to uh, the uh, its area since we're in two dimensions uh, right uh, because as we increase the area uh, there's uh, more states uh, uh, that the molecule can have and so the multiplicity should be proportional to the area and uh, also uh, there's different momentum vectors the molecule can have um so uh, uh the, the the more uh different momentum vectors the molecule can have uh, the uh, more uh states that uh, it can also uh, take so the multiplicity should also be proportional to the uh, instead of the uh uh volume space it's going to be pro uh, i mean the momentum uh, momentum space and uh, that momentum space lives in an let's call it AP okay um, this is the area of the momentum space since we are in, in 2D okay now we know uh, that the potential energy or uh, sorry the kinetic energy uh, will have to be P squared over 2m okay and so this is going to be uh, 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 since this momentum can be in the x and the y we're going to get 1 over 2m px squared plus py squared okay and uh, if I could rearrange this uh, I could say that px squared plus py squared is equal to 2mu clearly this is a circle centered in the momentum space at 0 0 and has a radius of square root uh, 2mu so what's happened here so this is a circle right let me actually probably if I draw this it's better so let's say that this is px and this is py and this would be a circle right here with a radius or is equal to square root of 2 mu okay okay now we have to, to in order to account for all the states we have to introduce the Heisenberg uncertainty principle in quantum mechanics that says that uh, to, we cannot measure we cannot simultaneously measure uh, the position and the momentum of a particle and therefore we have this famous one of the uh, most famous postulates in quantum mechanics 
the Heisenberg uncertainty principle that says uh, no matter what you do uh, there is this intrinsic standard deviation intrinsic error um, intrinsic variance in the position and the momentum when you measure them simultaneously at the same time and the product of that can at least have to be equal to h bar over 2 which in this book he adopts that as as h uh, where h is Planck's constant okay so it's at least equal to that h okay so now uh, we do have uh, to determine the uh, number of distinct position states and although we do have an infinite amount of uh, 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 independent uh, of uh, allowed wave functions in this case the independent wave function uh, is actually finite and uh, uh, as pictured in your book in figure 2-9 uh, if we have a, a length L and uh, let's say uh, the position space is represented by uh, you know these waves um, and each one of them uh, has uh, a delta X etc um, and each one of them has a delta X uh, then uh, the uh, number of different position states will be L over delta X and the same argument could be applied on the momentum space we're gonna have uh, the momentum sp well in this case uh, this is this is an area right so uh, this is gonna be uh, uh, actually let's leave it for now for L we'll change it later and then uh, the momentum space will be the same we will have LP over delta X and the number uh, uh, over delta P uh, X and of course the number of uh, so th the first one is the number of distinct position states and the second one is the number of position momentum states and the total number of all states of all distinct states is the product of these two states okay which here we could invoke the uh, sorry this is an additional triangle sign here uh, and uh, if we invoke the uh, uncertainty Heisenberg uncertainty principle above uh, this would just turn into LLP over H okay uh, so uh, now uh, since we are talking about the XY plane those lengths become areas and uh, we get the multiplicity for one particle one atom is actually the area uh, in the length space times the area in the momentum space divided by h right and uh, if we go into uh, uh, two particles right? oh, oh sorry over uh, over uh, h squared right because there's an h on each one uh, Right. there's one factor of H in the X and in the Y okay now uh, the uh, if I go to two molecules of course my momentum space will change because then I would have uh, 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 momentums in the X Y and Z for two atoms instead of one atom so let's say for example if I go to two atoms uh, I'm simply gonna do uh, V squared right uh, divided by uh, h to the 6 or at, we're doing area here so let, let's just uh, let's just stick to the area so this is going to be area squared uh, divided by uh, you we're going to have to square this so this is going to be h squared squared right times uh, the area of the momentum uh, 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 sphere shape that I'm gonna get as a result of my momentum now being p1 x squared plus p2 x squared p2 uh, uh, p1 y squared plus p2 x squared plus p2 y squared okay and this is gonna equal to 2 mu 
And so whatever that shape is in four dimensions, uh, this will be the area of that shape. The area of this shape here with a radius of 2mu. Okay. And uh, the only thing I still have to do is because I'm double counting now, right? Uh, because the, the, if the molecules are distinguishable and I can see which one is which, then this formula is correct. However, if the molecules are indistinguishable, uh, then uh, we, are, we have overcounted the microstates by a factor of two because uh, if I interchange molecule one and two with each other, uh, this does not give me a different state. It's going to be the same state because I, can t I can't tell these molecules apart from each other. So in this case, I would have to divide by a factor of two. Now I can generalize this into n molecules. Uh, so if I go into n molecules, then of course, uh, I would, so for one molecule, it was uh, A uh, times uh, AP. For here, I would have to raise the uh, 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 the area to the n because I have n molecules. I would have overcounted n times because I have n indistinguishable particles, atoms. So I would have to divide by n to account for that over counting and factorial I apologize and factorial because as you go to three molecules it'll be six different ways of rearranging those same uh, atoms uh, well you get the same states so if you go to n molecules there's gonna be n factorial same states over counted uh, through this uh, process uh, and uh, we're gonna get a to the n and then we have uh, h by a factor of n from each so this is gonna be 2 to the n Okay, now times the area of uh, my thing that we spoke about when I make uh, n uh, momentum space um, terms uh, using the x and y components for each molecule. So there'll be two n uh, different momentum terms uh, in my formula squared and those will add up to 2mu and there's a formula in your book that could figure out the area of that I'm not going to derive it I'm just going to use it it's equation 239 and this tells me that the area this area here this a is equal to 2 pi d over 2 divided by d over 2 minus 1 factorial times r d minus 1 okay uh, d uh, is uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the dimensions the number of dimensions so if we have however many dimensions that would be the dimensions and r is the radius of that shape whatever that shape is so in my case uh, I have my r, r isn't going to change, r is 2mu because that's on the right hand side of the equation always, 2mu square root and uh, uh, d uh, in my case will be 2n so for 2d you'll get 2n Okay, so I'm going to take this information and I'm going to plug it in. So uh, that area will become 2 pi to the n. Wait. divided by uh, 2 n minus 1 factorial times 2 mu raised to d minus 1 d is 2 n 2 n minus 1 over 2 so n minus half and then I will take this and I will plug it into the green equation for the multiplicity 
then I will get uh, a to the n over n factorial h2n and then the area Now, if n is a lot larger than 1, I could make the approximation. Uh, I could uh, uh, just call uh, 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 n minus 1 factorial to be n, and I would get uh, a to the n over n factorial h to the 2n. times 2 pi to the n and I will approximate this to n factorial and then here I have 2 mu raised to the n minus half this formula is identical to your equation 240 in the book that he derived for uh, for the case of a, a volume for the case in three dimensions this is this concludes the presentation on this derivation